test, test. Test, test. Test, 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 test. All right. Oh, hi. Wow, everybody's here. Wow, that was quick. So, you guys, we're going to make some samples today, and I can also show you some songs that I'm making. I'm going to pull up the chat on my own phone so that I can talk to you guys without having to pull up uh, Chrome. Sorry, it's like buffering and shit. Um, let's see if I can get to this. Unless I just quit the whole thing. Which it probably did. Yep, it did. I'm just getting this set up one sec. Okay. I am in the chat. So, um, if you guys have any issues with like how bad the buffer is just let me know and um if not i'm just gonna go from here so what we got going on is a bunch of samples that you guys actually submitted and i'm gonna let the rest of the world know that this is happening by sharing this real quick um but yeah so we can listen through these and kind of decide together like what we want to do with them and that's kind of what's going on how are you guys doing today Awesome.
Alrighty. Let me just check back in on you guys in the chat. Do, do, do. All right, cool. Oh, hey, Christian. Oh, fuck. Let me just drop all my shit over here. Wow, so many friends in here. All right, so let's go through some of these samples. We can kind of decide together. I'm going to start with my favorite. French Bulldog Snoring. All right, let's see what this is. I mean, that just sounds like some kind of a string instrument, but it's still interesting. Let's find something more percussive, though. Jesus. It's really loud. All right. Okay, so that could make an interesting shaker, I'm thinking. Let's try to tap out the tempo. So the tempo seems to be... Right, so we're going to tap that one out. So it's about 85, somewhere in there, maybe. Let me try 80. See how it works with the metronome. Seems a little bit slow, so let's try 100. Still a little slow. That seems pretty good. So we're gonna take this first bit of it where it's pretty consistent, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna quantize it, and let's open up my flex time. So if you guys have never used Logic Pro before and you have and you're interested about kind of what's going on, um, feel free to drop some questions in the chat. This is the this is the DAW I use. It's called Logic Pro, and um, yeah, so I've worked in it you know the entire time we've been making music, and this is a lot of what we do, which is use found sounds to make our own drum samples. So we're going to take this, and we're going to take it and convert it to rhythmic. And then we're going to quantize it by, I'm going to say a 16th, but it might be a 32nd note. It's a little glitchy. We want to smooth it out. Still a little glitchy. So let's try an eighth. Might need to try a different type of quantization. That's also interesting, but not quite what we're going for. I have tried Ableton. It's not my favorite. Um, the UI and logic just makes a lot of sense to me. That's very cool. I think we're going to keep that. So now we have our sound. I'm going to reduce the gain on it so that we have a little bit of headroom. And from here, we're going to EQ it a little bit. So I actually want the first half just so we can keep it somewhat consistent. And we're going to use that across the board. I would recommend Logic to others. I think it's a really, really cool program, um, especially if you've never produced before, because I have like all my features, you know, this is a, a advanced mode, as they say. But when you're just starting out, you can make it simple and you just end up with this part of the transport window and they have a lot of built-in effects that are really intuitive. Their, their built-in presets for their built-in effects are really, really good. Um, and so yeah, it's a great place to start and then it's really easy to expand into a more advanced production style inside the DAW once you figure it out. For me, when I tried Ableton when I was first starting, it was very abrasive because there's a lot going on. It wasn't that intuitive to me personally. And so it, it took a lot of work to kind of figure out where I was at. Um, yeah, Christian, definitely. Let's compress it a little bit and then let's add a phaser. I'm going to use a compressor with a little bit of noise on it. So this is one thing that I like to do if I'm working with a sample that already sounds a little bit um, messed up is I'll add a compressor or something with color to it. When I say color, it just means that it has a sense of char character. Like as you can see on this H comp, 
it has this analog option. So I'm going to turn it to three. We're going to decrease the threshold a little bit, and we're going to decrease the ratio, kick up the punch, decrease the attack. And this is just going to help it sound more uniform across the board. Neat. Okay. One more thing I want to do is add another one of my favorite plugins, which is Decap. And my computer is really going to feel it for a minute. We'll make this a little bit darker just so we can figure it out. Tight. And now, as Christian said, we're going to add a phaser to it. Um, I'm going to add the logic phaser just so you guys can see what it looks like. So these are all our basic logic effects that come with the program. And what's great about them is they're super low latency. And like I said, they're really, really quite good. Um, cool. So here's our phaser. I'm just going to use a random preset. Let's try phase filter one. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decrease the gain a little bit more just so we can bring it back to normal volume. And yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. I'm about to move on to another sound, I think. I'm going to put a little reverb on this, just a light one. Actually, no, I'm not going to put a reverb. I'm going to put Echo Boy. And what this is, is it's a delay. And so we want to kind of have a tight, tight delay to it. Da -na 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 -na. All right. Let's try this slap. That's pretty cool. I'm going to mix it down now. Awesome. So there's a little bit too much mid range for me. So I'm going to decrease that. That's pretty cool. So we're going to call this Icy Shaker. And we're going to move it towards the top. Because that's a finished sound. All right. Oh, also, we want to put the, the BPM. Right on. Cool. So let's go to someone in the chat said that their sound was the top sound. Um, do, do, do. Too much energy. So your your sound is sheets of metal in a windstorm. We're gonna work with that. Are you all still with me? I can't tell if my chat's updating or not. So I'm gonna restart my app. If you haven't noticed, I have really pretty poor internet, so I'm sorry that if it's buffering like a motherfucker. I'm gonna try to get gigabit soon. Let's listen to the sample. Turn it down a little bit. Looks like the exciting part might be near here. Okay, so I really like this melodic sound. And also, it is locked, which is interesting. So let's figure out how to unlock it. There we go. So I really like that. I think we can turn that into some strings, actually. Yeah, so we're going to take just that part, actually. 
we're gonna make a synth out of this. I'm actually super excited about this one. Okay, cool. So let's start back at the beginning. Let's cut out a lot of the low end here. So I'm also gonna turn off low latency mode. Uh, it's already off. That's strange. Okay. All right. Very cool. Yeah, how is quarantine? Are you guys doing okay out there? I would like to know this as well. So I'm going to use a noise suppressor on this, get some rid of some of that background noise, and we're also going to use another plugin that reduces noise called X Noise, and maybe X Hum. We'll see if that helps it at all. A little bit. And now we'll go back in with the EQ. See if we can get that last little bit. Interesting. I don't want to lose all the low end. And that's kind of what we're going for. Okay, cool. Now we're going to affect it a little bit more. I mean, I'm going to reduce the X noise just a little bit because it's kind of too much. What have you guys been doing to stay busy? You've been like reading books. I mean, looks like Aid 80. I'm sorry if I mispronounced names. Has been working. That's good. So let's add compression to this. We're going to look for a violin one if that exists which it does not in this oh we can use guitar though that's fine okay that's fine enough and then we'll add a chorus i think to this a socially distanced wedding explain to me how this works was it like everyone was sitting six feet apart and like what how did the bride and groom separate like they got a kiss at the end like did were they was it like a FaceTime wedding? I need more information on this one. Okay, so that did a lot. Let's add some more stuff for body if we can. Um, what else do I want to add to this shit? Is that a micro shift? That'll do something, probably. Come on. It's really thinking about it. All right, here we go. So I need to get rid of the windiness of it just because it's really detracting for me. So we're actually just going to use a low cut. I'm not going to shelf it. I'm just going to cut it. Yeah, that's going to help. Okay. And now we're going to use a plugin that I personally love that was introduced to me by a very dear friend. Um, and it is called Decimort. It's a high quality bit crusher. And we're going to see what the fuck this does to it. I'm going to I'm going to try low passing it, but I don't know if it's going to work the way I want it to. So No, nah, I don't like that. Let's try high passing it. That's pretty cool. Um, let's move this 
farther up in the chain. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. That's going to be cool. And then the last thing I want to do is we're going to put a amplifier on it. Because, like, you can do anything you want in these trying times. I have no idea what note this is, by the way. So that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to figure out what to tune this to. So I got to pull up my little thing here. So that is tuned pretty closely to a C sharp, which is great news because that means we only have to bring it down one. To make it tuned to C. Uh, don't you just love when things work out? Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bounce this in place. So the reason that I do that is because I want all of those effects to be printed on this audio so that when I go to our newly created sampler here, well, first of all, I'm gonna turn this up. Um, yeah, I am going to turn up here. So I'm going to gain it up here so that it'll be stronger. Great. And now I'm going to bounce it into place one more time because I want, it, I want it to have a stronger signal when I import it. All right, cool. So now we're going to open up our handy dandy sampler. And we're going to import this baby. We're going to take it, whoop, there it goes. And now it is tuned perfectly to C. I'm going to save it as, what was our friend's name? 80. 80 synth. And now let's see if we can play with it. sick. So it's a little quiet as you can hear. So what we're going to do, we're first going to boost the volume in here. That's boosted. Okay, now I'm going to add a utility tool. Um, and just try to gain it up a little bit, see what happens. Oh, that's not what I wanted to fucking do. Let's gain it up 15, see how that what helps us. It does help us a lot. Let's try what happens if I do this. All right, cool. Now we're going to work with the attack and release. And we're going to make this into a different sound now that we've stepped in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the attack a little bit more. And we're going to add some glide to it. Um, now let's just like drown it in reverb, I think. That sounds like a pretty cool time. Um, ooh, I will put Crystallizer on it. I think this will make it sound cool. Crystallizer makes everything sound cool. Come on now.
tight. And we'll add a little plate to it as well. sick um we are going to take this and i'm going to take the glide off of it a little bit and now what we're going to do is we're going to put an auto filter on it and see if that does something Tight. So I feel pretty fucking happy with this. Um, it's pretty sweet. So we're going to take this bounce in place sample. We're going to boost it up towards the top. Right on. Let's keep, let's keep trucking here. We got so much to explore together. Um, I'll just keep this. So, ooh, binder. Well, I want to find a kick. I want to make a kick for you guys. We could do instrumental versions someday. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Not quite what I'm looking for, but I will come back to that because there's some good stuff. Um, ooh, some chords. Neat. Ooh, there's a lot of melodic stuff in here. We could probably make a beat out of this stuff, you guys. Tight. Okay, that's a really good sound. We're gonna come back to this. Ooh, church ambiance. Wait, let me. Can I? Can I just get? Just get some ambient sound over there. That'd be awesome. Please. Thank you. That's a really nice ambiance. Ooh, ooh, that gets really juicy right there. Okay, hold on. Wow, you guys submitted some really cool shit. The coolest part of this to me is just being able to pull out rhythms from this. Um, like in this one, I can hear like a... Like that's the rhythm I extract, that like our brains just search for patterns. You can just find that type of thing. Like the decay of the space has that rhythm to it. So we're gonna take this first bit. Um, 
I really want to listen to the rest of it, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to move it down here, I think. And mark it for myself. All right. So we're going to keep this church ambiance, and we're going to use it. I think we'll make a beat. In a minute here. But, uh... Yeah, I really want to find a kick and a good snare. Um, how do we choose our album covers? We just have like a, you know, whatever fits the music kind of. Ooh. That's good. Probably use that. Ooh, wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Ooh, that's a good snare. Okay, cool. So we're going to take this. We're going to make it into a snare. We're going to have a good time. And that is the plan. Yeah, and once I'm done with these, what I'll do is I'll upload like the process versions into that same folder. And if you guys want to submit your own sounds, actually, let me drop the link to do that in this chat. Actually, I'll send... I'm going to do it an easier way for myself where I'm going to share a tweet in here, which is probably like not such a vibe, but you know, what are you like, what are you going to do? So yeah, if you guys go check out that tweet, you'll be able to drop your own samples in here and you can just let me know in the champ, the chat, Hey, I just dropped the sample in and maybe put your name next to it or something. So I know who to look for. Shit. Oh, it's such fucking sick snare. Okay, cool. You guys got any more questions for me? Um, we've been playing a lot of video games. Talk about that. Um, you know, playing guitar, doing music shit, going outside when I can for little walks. I live in a rural place, so, um, you know, I don't have to worry about being around other people as much when I go outside, which is a really big blessing. And, uh, yeah, been on Reddit a lot, on the internet. I want more of the tail for that, because that's a really fucking cool sound. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the low end to this so that we don't have that. Right on. I mean, that's like already such a great sound on its own, you know. But we will do more to it. Take the front end off of it. Sick. Right on. Yeah, I think that's pretty tight. But it's also clipping, which is not a vibe. So we're going to decrease the game. And then we'll, we'll bring it back up with compression and stuff. I'm just going to put a preset on it because I don't have time to figure out what I want to do. That's like pretty nice. And that's only the first one too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a Kramer tape on it. And this is a saturator as well as a compression tool. sick and then we'll put decap on it just for just for good measure what am, I'm my Spanish is bad so if I'm misinterpreting this question um, what am I doing is we're making samples here so a bunch of people submitted their samples, like their sounds, and I'm going to turn them into drums, and we're going to try to make a quick little beat here.
Who is Kenny? I don't understand your references. Are you talking about the guy who who dances and makes beats like on on the live loop? That guy? I like that guy. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Sick. And um Let a little play to this too. I'll change it later. I'm probably going to bust out to a verb, but like, you know, for the sake of this. Sick. All right. It's all coming together. It's all happening. All right, going to take this stuff and then this last melodic thing. And then I want to find, I still want to find a kick. So I'm going to make him do a kick. Let's see if we can do that. Venice Church, what you got? <coughs> That's a cough. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Ooh, there it is. So we're just gonna take this little piece and we're gonna move it down. And then we're gonna move it up. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna move it back. And now we're gonna fuck with it. All right, cool. So. Shit. Took off too much. All right. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to decrease the pitch by 12. We're going to see if that works. Why is there something else playing? Hello? There we go. All right. Um, I don't like the way that did that. So we're going to actually use a different plugin to do the same thing. We're going to use Sound Shifter. Sick. Okay. So I'm actually going to decrease this by five. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. That's not what I want to do. I mean, it is, but like it didn't work, so. We're getting closer. I can feel it in my bones. Just going to take a little bit of work. Yeah, thick, tight, very cool. Uh, all right, right on. This is going to be a really cool kick, actually. So let's go in here. Let's EQ this bad boy a little bit. I do want sub, but I don't want like too low of tight. Sick. 
Okay, cool. Now we're just going to like basically compress the shit out of this. Mm, yeah, this is going to be Cool, 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 cool. Let's add a Kramer tape to this again. You guys are getting like a really good look at my favorite plugins, to be honest. I am going to add some shit I don't usually use. Uh. Come on now. My computer's having like a pretty fucking hard time with this shit. If anybody's a streaming expert on Mac, um, holler at your boy, because the amount of Roblox I run into with this thing is just crazy. Although I might just have to break down and get a Hackintosh, and then I can run Windows on the other side and never worry about this shit ever again. Tight. That's a great sounding kick. We're going to do more stuff to it, though. Goodbye to the flux. Tight. Very cool. Um, I will add CLA drums to this, which is like a big drum suite, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. We're just going to have to find out. We're just going to have to wait and see. Do, do, do. Let's try this. We do. We do like it in the end. As the kids say, we love to see it. Gonna throw an SSL comp on this. Why do you do the thing you do? Why do you always do that? Why do you always gotta? Oop, passed it. All right, there we go. And that's a kick, baby. Like, it's just amazing what you can do. We went from this sound right here, right? Sounds nothing like a kick drum, right? And someone like moving their phone super weird. We went from that sound, I'll play it one more time, all the way. Fuck. To that sound. Like that's that's pretty it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. We are gonna throw a limiter on it though, just because it's peaking. Uh, I don't need it, I'll just gain it down in a minute. Okay, cool. So we're gonna start to make like a little beat here. And I think that we'll use 100 BPM or 105 BPM as our starting point. So we can use this shaker pretty easily and we'll see how it goes. So let's do like a easy, you know, easy beat here. Actually, you know what? We'll half time it just because I think that'll be cooler. Tight, very cool.
All right, that sounds pretty sick. And so we're gonna make it. We'll just make like a little four bar loop, just so you guys can see what we might come up with. Um, let's get this melodic thing in. I really liked this thing. Something about that last chord is really pensive. So if you guys can't tell, I'm actually using the synth that uh, we just made. And then end up having this really cool, just super interesting string texture to it. So I'm stoked on this, you guys. This is, this is awesome. How cool is that? We just made all those sounds together. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move this back. So let me go in here. I do like synths and yeah, this is logic. I'm 
quantize this by an eighth instead. Just kidding. No, I'm not. That fucked it up. Let's see if we can bounce this in place to get it to sit a little bit better. So now that we've done that, we're actually going to shift our beat over a hair. Oh, shit, missed some parts. Ah. There we go. And we're just going to hit shift this a, a hair. Yeah, this J Momo melodic thing, if you're in the chat, J Momo, you like really came in clutch today because this sounds amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up a little bit of this chirp, church ambiance to see if we can't make some rhythmic part of this. See if it matches with our drums. Tight. Sorry, guys. You know what, just so that doesn't ever happen, ever, 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 ever again, we're going to take this whole loop, and we're going to move it way the fuck over here. So we don't have to deal with that anymore. Just kidding. I don't know if I can do that. Yikes. Scoop.
add some bass to this. do that we're gonna change the shaker a little bit i do like how much it moves but i just want a little piece of it right now i think if my computer will ever fucking load hello hello
All right, now we'll go back to adding base. Sounds pretty cool. Oh. Come on, do it. gonna take a minute to save this since I neglected to do that always save your projects kids never forget we're gonna take that second baseline we're gonna quantize it because why not I also want to make this kick more subby, so I'm going to throw our base on it. Very sick. And then, yeah, I'm just going to jam guitar on this for a hot minute because it's pretty peaceful.
like that little lick. We're going to have that little lick. Pretty nice. All right, so I've been streaming for just about an hour now, and I'm sure it's going to start cutting out. So I'm going to finish this up, add one more guitar part, just for shits. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to add vocal stacks, but you know what? Fuck it, let's just let's just try it. Let's just push this bad boy to the limits, you know. I have no idea what key this is in though, so we're gonna figure that out together. Um, C sharp. Back where we started. Okay, cool. Da, 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 da. Major, baby. All right. Yes, we use auto tune. It helps. Sometimes you just gotta. All right. I'm gonna stop monitoring here. That's very strange. Nice. Okay. This is just going to really fucking do it to my computer. So we're going to try to do this pretty quick. Uh, uh,
almost going to turn everything down because we're clipping like a motherfucker right now. Let's add low latency back. Try it again. All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> Shit. Now the computer's starting to heave. All right.
mess with that last one. We'll just mess with these two. Then we're going to pan. No, we're not going to pan them. And we're going to group them together so that we can affect them together. We're just going to bathe these bad boys in reverb. be the last thing we add. Yes, it did. All right, cool. This will be the last effect we add for today's stream. Thanks for tuning in, friends. This was really fun. These are really, really cool sounds. I'm pretty excited about this beat. And um, yeah, what I'll try to do is clean this up a little bit and then just post like a nice little clip of uh, the beat that we made today and maybe some like highlights of, you know, how this was created and the sounds that we use and how we change them and stuff. So let's see how this sounds. Pretty beautiful. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. I'm gonna pull this back up and we'll listen to it one more time on our way out. Here we go. Glad you liked it. If you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, um, I'm happy to do more of this. If you want to see us play songs live, I'll drop a little thing in our YouTube community as like a little poll of like what you guys want to see in the future. But uh, you know, maybe Saturday can just be our day from now on. Every every Saturday around one, I'll hop on and do something with you guys. So yeah, let me know.